From high school to amateurs and now to paid professional hockey players, we're talking about the New York Riveters, one of the four teams in the National Women's Hockey League, the first professional league of its kind. They just got started this past October, and they played their home games at the Aviator Sportsplex. Joining me in the studio are three members of the Riveters. First, Janine Weber. She's also a forward, and you're from? Austria. 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 Thanks. Thanks for coming. Welcome. Thank you. And also, also joining me is Madison Packer. Madison, where are you from? Also forward with the Riveters. Detroit, Michigan. All right. And also is Bray Ketchum. Bray, also a forward. Where yeah. are you from? Greenwich, Connecticut. All right, so you're not too far. You're in the metropolitan yeah. area, right? <laughs> All right, good. First thing, we'll talk about your season. How's it been going so far? I know there's been a bit of a struggle. This is your inaugural season, so there's been some ups and downs, right? Yeah, Jump it's, in. <laughs> it's been a bit of a uh, rough year. Uh, I think that for most of us, we, um, we don't have any national team players, anything like that, aside from Janine, but we don't have any U.S. national team players. So for a lot of the girls, we had to come out of retirement and uh, start training again, get back into the swing of team things. So it took us a little bit longer uh, to get back into shape, I think. But fortunately, everyone makes the playoffs, and um, you only have to win four games. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it was also, I mean, a, a point of, uh, I guess, creating some sort of chemistry is that was that also an issue you think? yeah I think we you know a lot of us kind of knew each other but we had never really played with each other so I think we've been getting better as a team you know after a lot of practices and I think we have a great team with players that would sacrifice a lot for a team so I think that's what's going to help us out in the end how do you feel about that as far especially with the playoffs you got the playoffs next month and is the chemistry there right now because I know there were some struggles in January especially right the yeah goals. I think we're um, beginning to really come together as a team I mean we've had some really tough losses recently but we've played really well um, and I think you know we're building up to the playoffs and I think we're at a good point right now and um, we're feeling confident in one another and hopefully uh, the Isabel Cup will be ours but um, yeah I think we're excited to you know, it's sad that the season is almost over, but we're excited to get into playoffs. What was it like in the beginning, knowing that you were going to be part of something innovative, revolutionary, especially in terms of getting paid to play? I think it was pretty special. Um, you know, a year ago, this wasn't even a thought on anyone's radar. Um, it wasn't an opportunity that we had. So to be acknowledged and to have that kind of validity that we are athletes that are worthy of a paycheck and that people are willing to pay to watch us play and they're willing to buy our jerseys and buy season tickets and things like that. Um, it was just a kind of a cool moment and like a feather in our cap kind of. Yeah, um, I think um, just seeing all the young fans that come out to our games, I think it's, um, this league has been a great addition to um, women's sports and I think this is a huge time for women's professional sports. Um, you know, the World Cup women just winning. And then um, the last Olympics, the U.S.-Canada game was the most viewed um, game in the Olympics. So I think it's an exciting time for us. And, you know, what better is that than to get paid? I know it's early as far as this is your first inaugural season. This is your inaugural season. But in terms of a rivalry, do you have a rivalry with Buffalo? <laughs> with the, you know, let, let's go. Is there, have you developed one yet? I think uh, there, 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 there. <laughs> We were actually talking about this out there before. Yeah. Um, I like playing Boston. Their answer, I think, is different than mine. I like playing Boston just because I played in college with a few of those players. I played in high school with a few of those players. Um, and it's always a good grinding out, dirty game. So I like playing Boston. Yeah, I think Boston is definitely a big game for all of us. Um, also, Connecticut has been with some close games against them, a little bit of scrums here and there, so I think <laughs> <laughs> those games are always tough. Go ahead, go ahead. How yeah, no, you? just because there's four teams, I think we play every team six times, so I think by the end we're pretty much, you know, we know everyone on that lineup, and it's been Now, exciting. also, tell me about your background. How long you been playing? I started skating when I was about three. Um, I have an older brother, a younger brother, and a younger sister. We all grew up playing together. Uh, I started playing because I wanted to be just like my older brother and do everything that he did, so... I grew up, started playing with my siblings, and then I grew, I played all through middle school and high school in the metropolitan Detroit area. And then I graduated high school, went and played four years at the University of Wisconsin. I was in and out of the national program for a little while. Um, and you were going to walk away, right? From what I gather? Yeah, I was, I was done after my senior year of, of hockey in college. I had one more semester, and I had completely walked away from hockey for almost a year. I didn't, I, was doing uh, training for a triathlon with my mom, um, 
and I kind of didn't, it was up in the air what I wanted to do. I didn't have anywhere to go. So it was either play beer league or pick up or be done. How about yourself? Um, I grew up in Connecticut and I played, I, the same kind of thing. Two of my older brothers played hockey and I kind of was, you know, thrown to the rink every Saturday morning and watched them and fell in love with the sport. And then I played boys hockey up until high school and then um, played on a girls high school team and club team in Connecticut and then. In Austria? Yeah, I grew up <laughs> playing with boys. Um, there are not a, a lot of girls playing hockey in Austria. There's more now. But then I, um, I played on a girls team through high school and then I went to university in Austria and played on a girls team there. And then I played one year at Providence College. Now, this is a tough sport. I mean, there's no ifs and buts about it. And you do have your share of fighting, or if you want to call it scrums. Do you have a lot of those during the uh, particular matches at all? There have been a couple. I may have been the <laughs> disturber on a few of them. But we get, I mean, there's no, people aren't ripping buckets off and punching people in the face, but um, we get in scrums. I mean, we have the same edge to compete, and we want to win just as bad as the men do. So. Uh, we obviously aren't viewed as, as 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 attractive if we walk around with a bunch of scars on our face, so we're all pretty conscious about getting hit in the face. That's, right. That's that sexism, huh? <laughs> got a cute pretty face, ladies, right? <laughs> now, when you look at, as far as you got the playoffs coming up pretty soon, you have two more weeks left in the se regular season? Yeah, three more games. Three more games, right? So uh, how does it look for the playoffs? I mean, because the playoffs, as you know, is a whole new season. Yeah, I mean, right now it's... Um, you know, people are battling for first, second place, third and fourth, so um, it's going to come down to the last three games where we place, and then we'll probably either play Boston or Connecticut in the first round. And that's what the Isabel Cup, right? Yep. <laughs> How do you feel about the playoffs, your, your playoff chances? I feel good. I think that we, um, like Bray and Janine kind of said, that we, we're a team that comes to the rink every day. We compete. We care about each other. Um, everyone's there because they want to be there. You know, we moved to an expensive city, not making very much money. So we've all made a lot of sacrifices throughout the year. And at the end of the day, everyone makes the playoffs, and you only have to win a couple games to win everything. So uh, we've had a lot of close games. We haven't had a lot of bounces go our way. So eventually the luck's got to turn a little bit. What's been the reaction also? Because I, I gather you've been outreaching to the community, to the various communities up in Harlem, hockey up in Harlem, parts of Brooklyn, parts of the Bronx. Where, where, what, do you, what sort of reaction are you receiving? Um, I think it's been pretty positive. I think, you know, as I said, the young kids are really involved in our league, and um, we've tried to read. We had a um, autism game, and we went and played street hockey with a few of the kids um, in Brooklyn, and um, we've worked at a women's shelter and served food to them. So we're trying to stay involved in the community, I think, and, you know, along with us providing, you know, service to them, they're also coming to our games and being really supportive, and the fans have been awesome. Your next home game? This Sunday, Sunday at 2 p.m. against the Buffalo Buttes. Right. And once this season is over, what will you take away from this season? I think there's a lot of things. Huh. Mostly we have an incredible fan support at our home rink and all the other rinks as well. But I think our fans have been really special coming back every weekend, even if, you know, games aren't going our way. But I think that's really special for us. Yeah, and I think just, you know, taking a step back and really taking the whole experience in, it's been really incredible for a lot of us. Um, and, you know, we hope that it only grows in the future, so. All right. So, what will you take away? Yeah, mine's kind of similar to Bray. I think that we've realized that we're really a part of something that's so much greater than ourselves, and we've given little kids an opportunity to have a realistic dream. So, being a part of that and watching it continue to grow it been pretty cool. And all home games are held, um, for those who are interested out there, are held at the Aviator Sportsplex out in Flatbush Avenue. Um, I wish you ladies tremendous luck, especially for the playoffs. Bring the Isabel home. Thank you so Thank much. You.